Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapper and Chronicles. Today we have something a little bit different again. It's uh, a screwdriver video. And uh, before we start on this, uh, if you find my videos interesting or likable, could you give me a like and share and consider subscribing to my channel? Okay, today we have a vessel. It's a uh, a vessel number three JIS screwdriver. JIS stands for Japanese Industrial Standard, and it looks like a Phillips. I mean, it looks a lot like a Phillips, but these are a little bit different than Phillips. They are Japanese Industrial Standard uh, screwdrivers. And most of the screws on Japanese cars are JIS screws. And this, a JIS screwdriver is uh, the right tool that you need for most Japanese cars. Because uh, if you use like a regular Phillips screw, screwdriver, you're going to wind up stripping out the screw heads. Because they usually cam out quicker than these because the, the tips on these are designed a little bit different than regular regular Phillips. And the reason I bring up this screwdriver is this is an impact screwdriver and it had this also not only an impact but it has uh, an impact turn screwdriver so when you hit this the shaft turns about 12 degrees counterclockwise to loosen the bolt and it helps you loosen bolts that are very very stuck in the car actually I bought this just for one reason I bought this because I have a Honda car and Hondas have uh, what do you call it the brake the brake rotors the brake rotors on Hondas are attached when you take off your wheel they're attached by two screws onto the onto the wheel hub and I live up north so there's a lot of salt and snow and all that so your rotors up here they get pretty rusty and by the time you go to take out those screws it they're probably rusted in and another thing is is that okay you look at the screw it looks like a Phillips so here you go with your Phillips and you put it in and you try to turn 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 or whatever you try to put a, a wrench on it and turn it that way it's just gonna strip out the screw because it's the wrong screwdriver you need a JIS which this is this is a, a vessel made in Japan good quality very good quality uh, screwdriver here's uh, here's the packaging if you want to call it that it's called Impacta and the rest is in Japanese so there ain't much I can tell you except this says made in Japan and here it says non-slip I guess the handle is like a rubber, a rubberized handle, and made in Japan again, and has wear safety glasses, and that's about all I can read there. On oh, its number, this is item number nine eight zero, and these are on Amazon. I think right now you can find these for like sixteen ninety nine, and to take off your your Honda rotors, I don't know if I heard some other manufacturers use screws on their rotors also. I'm not sure which ones. Uh, VW maybe or some of the German ones. I'm not sure, but I know Honda definitely uses screws, and this is the correct screwdriver for it. And since on impact, this also turns it helps on those rusted screws and let me tell you 
those screws if you attempt to take out your rotors get one of these because you're going to you're going to be in for a hard day <laughs> i'm telling you if you attempt to take out those screws and they're rusted in there really good you're going to spend hours on those screws and it's going to ruin your day I'm t so either right off the bat you drill them out and you do it that way and don't even bother trying to trying to get them out by turning or you buy something like this just for that reason and even with this screwdriver it took me a while it took me a while to get those uh, rotor screws out um, a lot of hammering a lot of hammering but one one trick I think I discovered I don't know I don't know if this is going to work for everybody, but when when I was holding it, I tried to put pressure against the screw, put torque on the screw. Hold on. You put the, the screwdriver in the screw, and you, you put torque against the screw. And then you come with your hammer, and boom. And with the torque you're applying by hand and the torque of the spinning shaft it, 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 it helps it helps more than if you just hold it against if you don't put any torque and you just hold it against the screw head and you hit it I don't think it has as much uh, it gives you as much turning power as if you you're torquing the screw already you're putting pressure on it and then you hit it so that's one thing you might try another thing uh, make sure it's well lubricated put some I would do probably a day before put some penetrating oil on those screws uh, whatever you have I usually like to use um, what do you call it uh, acetone and automatic transmission fluid 50-50 mix just uh that's what I like to use uh and what else and WD-40 sometimes yeah that works and let me see what else I got that I use sometimes uh oh and PB Blaster PB Blaster I use it so I kind of use all of them <laughs> I probably I usually start with WD-40 then PB Blaster then I I go to the to the ATF and acetone so I would uh, I would go with pre-treating if you want to take on this uh, this task and another thing another trick I saw online I think Eric the car guy was uh, showing this if you t here's just a screw I'm just going to demonstrate something if you take a ball hammer and you put it against the screw head and you take another hammer and you tap or you hit you give it a good couple of whaps against the screw head right in the middle of the screw head with the ball of the hammer it's gonna help break that that bolt all the it's gonna help break the whatever the rust or the corrosion whatever is in there and it's gonna help you uh, take out those screws if they're really bad and then it's going to probably deform the screw it's probably going to deform the head of the screw a little bit the, the the channel for the for the screwdriver but a couple of wipes with the screwdriver and it'll get in there and it'll it'll reform the slots so not much to worry about there but uh, yeah that's about it uh, if you're thinking of tackling the rotor job on a Honda and you haven't done them in a while and you live up north and you hit a lot of salt and your rotors are rusty definitely get something like this and uh, don't try to go at it with a regular a regular Phillips it's gonna be a major headache let me tell you oh and one more thing I forgot to mention uh, about the two hammer method of uh, 
hitting hitting the hammers together against this the, the screw remember always to wear safety glasses when you do this always safety first you don't want to uh, a piece of flying metal to hit you in the eye or the face or something so remember always safety first okay guys until next time bye